tennis player John Millman suffered a freak injury while competing at the Mexican Open in Acapulco. During his opening match with American Marcos Giron, the Australian was trailing 6-7-0-2 when he looked to deflect the ball during a surface game in which his opponent held advantage. But as he attempted to stop the ball that was heading towards him, it hit his right eye and the world number 80 went down in agony. The pain was such that he was unable to continue with the match and Giron progressed to the next round. The Australian started the match brilliantly by breaking the American early. However, Giron broke him back and went on to win the first set 7-6, winning the tie-break 7-3. In the second set, Giron saved a break point to take the first game before breaking Millman to go 2-0 up, when disaster struck. Following the incident, he posted a photo on Instagram with a patch over his right eye and smiled for the camera. Millman appeared to be in good spirits as he joked, always got to watch the ball. The 32-year-old was not alone as Australian Open semi-finalist Matteo Berrettini also retired from his match due to an undisclosed injury. The Italian took the first set against America's Tommy Paul 6-4, but was trailing the second 5-1 when he could no longer continue. Elsewhere, the tournament's top seed Daniil Medvedev opened his campaign with a 6-3 6-4 victory over Frenchman Benoit Paire. This is an important tournament for the US Open champion, who has the chance to become the world number one for the very first time. Rafael Nadal equaled his best start to a tennis season with a comprehensive 6-3 6-2 victory of Denis Kudler. The Spaniard registered 16 forehand winners in a domiant display and stretched his record to 11-0 in 2022. Nadal also won 11 straight matches to start the 2014 season, before losing to Stan Wawrinka in the Australian Open final. It has been a positive match. I think I started playing well, a good victory in straight sets. That's always very positive for the confidence, he said post-match. I think I played a very solid match for the first day. Of course there are a couple of things that I can do better but in general terms, I played well so I can't complain at all. In the next round, the world number 5 will play Stefan Kozlov in the Eel Hours of tomorrow morning.